Good morning from Holland America's Coins and Down. So we're in the inside passage right now. I gotta hit the elevator button. We're in the inside passage right now and we're gonna go out and show you some of the sights. It's very scenic. So we left Vancouver and we're sailing north before we go to Hawaii. So let's go check out the inside passage. And let's get on the elevator and then we'll go up and see what's up there. So we just gotta go up one floor. So our ship left Vancouver and we're doing the inside passage. So we're sailing north and then we're gonna go to Hawaii. So we get a little bit of Alaska cruise before we go down there. Deck nine, fleet ending. Here we are. Let's go outside. All right, we're outside. It's a beautiful day here in British Columbia, Canada. And what I wanna do is I wanna tell you about why we're sailing north. And while I'm talking, I'm gonna show you the views of the inside passage. So this is very scenic and uh, you're gonna like it. So check this view out right now. And it's very good. Uh... What hat? So we're sailing north. And what I wanna tell you is why we're sailing north on our way to Hawaii. So our ship was already scheduled to go to Kona first and we were gonna go to Honolulu last. Well, the state of Hawaii requires that ships go to Honolulu first, and so they had to redo the itinerary. So because they had to redo the itinerary, that gave us an extra day. So because we had an extra day, they had to figure out what to do. So they're gonna sail north through the inside passage like we're going to Alaska, and then we're gonna turn around Vancouver Island and sail straight to Hawaii. So we get a little treat. This is almost like a mini Alaska cruise, some of the sights that you'll see. So let's just enjoy the scenery as we sail through the Inside Passage. And this is the point in the video where the wind got too strong and you couldn't hear me talk, but all you could hear was the wind blowing. So let's talk about the Inside Passage. So the Inside Passage is the strip of water between the mainland Canada and Vancouver Island. So a lot of Alaska cruises will use the Inside Passage from Vancouver and they'll sail north through the Inside Passage up to Alaska. A lot of ships will also do the Inside Passage or they'll claim they're doing the Inside Passage but what they're doing is they're going out to the Pacific Ocean and going around Vancouver Island. So what we're doing is the true Inside Passage and this is a real treat because not all the cruise ships get to do it because it's a narrow channel. So some cruise ships get to do the Inside Passage and others don't but we're lucky today because we are doing the real Inside Passage. <laughs> All right, I had to move because it's really windy there and it's kind of cold. So here we are on the back pool deck and I want to show you the pool and then we'll look at the view from the back of the ship because this is really pretty too. While we're looking off the back of the ship, I thought I'd share some facts with you about the Inside Passage. So the Inside Passage starts down in Olympia, Washington. So that's on the Puget Sound. From there, you go up past Seattle into the Salish Sea. You go through the Strait of Georgia and the Johnson Strait. So here you're between Vancouver Island and the mainland of British Columbia. From there, it continues up past Queen Charlotte Island all the way through the Alaska Panhandle. The Inside Passage is very heavily used by ships, and they use it because they can avoid the stormy North Pacific Ocean. So here you'll find freighters, passenger ships, ferries, and tugboats. You'll find a little bit of everything in the Inside Passage. So there's a reason there's not many people out on deck, and that's because it's windy and it's kind of cold. So we'll be in Hawaii soon. But anyway, I want to show you this. So I'm going to go downstairs and show you what uh, the view looks like from our balcony on the ship. So let's go check that view out. But before we go, let's look at the pool one more time. While we're looking at the pool, let me ask this question. Would you swim in this on a cold day? It looks beautiful, but it's probably 40 degrees outside. And I think it is way too cold to be swimming outside in this. I think it's probably 40 degrees, very windy, and that cold humidity goes right to your bones. Let's go back inside. 
And I want to show you how pretty the view is from the Lido. So this is one of the dining rooms on the ship. But check out this view, just amazing. Have you ever been to the ship's Lido? This place serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and sometimes the late night snacks. And it can be pretty busy. But right now, somehow, I got lucky, came up to the Lido when there was no one there. So I took some videos with the inside passage in the back. After I went to the Lido, I filmed this TikTok video and I thought I'd share it just because the pictures turned out really pretty. It was a nice day to make little TikTok videos of our ship sailing through the Inside Passage on our way to Hawaii. Beautiful day. And I have to share the TikTok video of dinner. So for dinner I had French onion soup, which was delicious. A herb chicken, which was really good. And then I had a lemon sherbet, which was also good. Everything's good on the ship. And I think that's enough being outside because it's a little chilly here. But I just wanted to show you the inside passage because it's really beautiful. So if you ever go to Alaska, this is some of the scenery that you'll see if you leave from Vancouver. So we're actually going to Hawaii, so it's kind of a treat to be able to go up around Vancouver Island. So just go Vancouver Island straight to Hawaii. This is a bonus day at sea. So once again, I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.